Ben Luka Maharaj and I am a Colorado-based multimedia artist. The idea for this march came about two years ago. I started thinking about accessibility in the arts and who gets to experience art. And because my work deals a lot with community, I wanted to find a way to bring the art to the community. So for me, this march was almost synonymous to looking at a painting or a drawing or something that I would have created. Um, and at the same time, allowing people within the, the Indo-Caribbean community to experience their own history. South Queen's Women's March chose to join the visionary artist Ren Luka Maharaj in this project because this is exactly why we exist. We exist to resist. We exist to be in community, by community, for community. My name is Anjani Ramtahal and I'm the founder of Le Feel an organization focused on uh, supporting Caribbean art and culture. And I was drawn to the project by Renuka Maraj, A Time to Heal, A March for Ancestors, uh, because I believe that the stories of uh, Indian indentureships, you know, it's, it's very important for the Caribbean, the region as a whole. It's a significant part of our history. Uh, being able to understand our, our own past histories and each other's histories within the region really helps for us to define really what the Caribbean identity is. Even though I'm in Amsterdam, I really wanted to participate and support this march in Queens. And I was very happy to play a small role in this sponsoring elements of it via Lazy. On my flag, I have my great-great-grandmother who was a child on one of the last ships that came from India. And it just felt like holding the flag with her picture on it and walking down Liberty Avenue in a way I've never done before. It just so, it felt so empower empowering and just, like I felt like I was carrying the legacy of all my ancestors in me. It's the same for me, I was very emotional and I felt like empowered and it gave me a day and a time to celebrate those people on the, my flag who was my grandfather Munilang and my great great grandmother. I grew up with her and she was one strong woman and um, I think it's like I felt so good that I could celebrate them today because they are the ones who brought me to this date in my life and um, yeah it was very empowering for me to walk down Liberty Avenue and to do this as a group of women. 